Hi guys, welcome to another video. My name is Crystal if you are new here. So today guys, we will be doing a, as you guys can tell already with the title, it is a what's in my bag and this is a 2023 slash winter version. The bag that I'll be showing you guys today, it's more of like a full big bag that I would carry around with me when I have work or when like I have a long day outside when I decide to stay at a cafe or maybe like sleep over at a friend's house. Honestly, I am such an overpacker, so I love bigger size bags like for example this tote bag before we officially begin and I show you guys everything that's inside I wanted to first introduce this cute bag the new bag that I have with me from Teddy Blake the bag that I chose is the Alice Interciato media in the dark gray color and I love it so much because of the details that's going around here this tote is perfect for an everyday bag it fits so many things but also kind of maintains the shape of the bag throughout and also I love this because it has a detachable zipper also comes with a signature dust bag and handles that are 10 inches long so it's super easy and comfortable to put around your shoulder more details can be found below about sizing and links below if you want to check the bag out this is my second Titty Blake bag and I love it so much I've been carrying it every single day with me so without further ado let's get started and I'm gonna show you guys everything that's inside here so before I actually take out the things that's inside, I wanted to show you guys my essential daily, daily, daily life essential. This is a Sony XM4 headphones. I showed this to you guys before in my 2022 What's in My Bag video, how I am so obsessed with it. I wear this almost every day. If I have like a long commute, if I'm on the way to work, this one, it works so well. And also, especially during winter, it gives you a little warmth as well. It's really comfortable and doesn't really hurt my ears even if I wear it out for a long time. The noise cancelling works really well as well so if I decide to work at a cafe it helps me boost the productivity because I feel like I'm just in my zone inside without any disturbances and also it kind of makes you feel like you're in your own little world when you have music to the fullest and you're just kind of like vibing and jamming out. Obviously music is such a big essential and makes you Wide. Anyway, so that is the first item. So the next one guys, I will also just show you what I have in this little zipper bag attached pouch. So this one already comes with a bag and you can also detach it. So it's really, really convenient. And for those who don't really carry around a wallet with you, um, I feel like you can just use this as a wallet. But for me right now, I have a little card wallet right here. This is a Prada card wallet that I got as a gift. And I just switched it out recently because it's been getting kind of dirty. New Year why not switch back to this one I used to be a really really bulk wallet carrier but recently I just use a small one because all I have in here are my two cards and also my ID so literally I don't really need a big wallet this one I just keep inside here so that I have easy access I can also make sure that the wallet doesn't really get scratched so this one is just like dangling on the side the next big thing that I see right away is ta -da! my new planner for this 2022 I love it so much my mom got it for me a few days ago and also inside you are able to put like add any types of papers as long as it fits the holes and it just has a monthly a weekly and I also keep my pen in here and some business cards here I love writing down everything rather than a digital planner I'm just so much more used to it like ever since high school I've been using a written hand paper Oh my gosh, I cannot talk. A paper planner, so I love this. Helps boost productivity. I also have a cute little um, keychain that is a My Melody, so I'm super obsessed with that. Oh, also let me just quickly show this one to you guys as well. A clip, hair clip. I like to put my hair up because I feel like it gets in the way a lot. And when I put my hair up, for some reason, it helps me focus better. So I like having this around me. I get so annoyed when I realize that I forget this, so I try to my best to like keep this here the next one i see another big item right here is my makeup pouch or kind of like random necessities inside i kind of reduce the amount i carry around with me because my bag has been so heavy for the longest time and i have scoliosis and basically i can't really carry around heavy stuff because it's just gonna make my spine become even more crooked i mean this is already a lot but i tried my best to reduce it i'm just such an overpacker i feel like i'm gonna need something every two seconds but when i'm out i end up not 
really using any of it. But this is actually things that I do use when I'm out. This is just kind of everything I need for a basic natural makeup. First, I have my Nivea lip balm. I also have this blush stick. This is from I Mimi, and I love this so much. It blends out really nicely, and it's just like a really quick, easy, fixable blush that you can apply. Those two definitely, definitely love it so much. Next, I have a double effect waterproof eye pencil. This is from Sister Anne, and this is what I use to kind of highlight underneath my eyes. This one, I love it. It glides so smoothly and just kind of brightens up overall your eyes and makes you look more awake. I have a mini blush eyeliner. This one is the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. If you feel like you're going to cry every second of the day, this is pretty good because it will not smudge. And then I have an eyelash curler, some eyebrow pencil. This one's from Pony Effect. Number two, Natural Brown, and it is the Pony Effect Shape and Set Brown Maximizing Duo. I love this because on one side it has the pencil and the other side it has an eyebrow gel. It helps you fix the shape and just makes your eyebrow pencil last a much longer time. Next, I have some hand lotion. This one is from Tambourines and it is in the scent Her and it's called The Shells. And it smells really good. I have like three of this. Everything honestly smells so good and it's really cute. I love carrying this around with me. Next, I have some lip balm. This is the Glossier Coconut Balm.com. Next, I have some tweezers. This is from the brand Tweezer Man, a cute pink tweezer. I had this last year as well. My favorite tweezers ever because it is pink. And then next, I have my duo eyelash glue. If I do decide to wear my eyelashes out, you've got to make sure you bring out your eyelash glue because you don't want your little lashes dangling. Next, I have some hand sanitizer. This one is a Christmas version is the Ho 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 Sparkling Icicles from Beth Bath and Body Beyond. Beth Bath and Beyond? Bath and Body Works. What, what the heck did I say Beyond? It's from Bath and Body Works. Next, I also have like a mini mirror that's just like kind of quick access. If you want to look at anything stuck in between your teeth or any smudges on your face. Next, I have this cute little pouch. It is some of my necklaces inside. And this one, it's like from Louis Vuitton. I thought that this little pouch was so efficient to put inside your accessories. I also have some rubber hair bands in here if I forget my hair clip. I have this in order to kind of put my hair up and I also like to braid my hair when I'm sleeping so that my hair is a little curly the next day. So I have some extra necklaces if I want to switch them out and some rubber bands. Eyeshadow brush, sugar-free mentos, peach mint flavor, just little mints just in case you eat some onions or garlic and your breath is stinky. This one is from Victoria's Secret. I got such a long time ago but I kind of like it because you can kind of see everything inside so it's very easy to take out stuff if I need something so this is that everything inside the next thing guys I also have a random pouch in here this is a Dior pouch that I got I think when I bought my the lip oil or something so the first thing I see in here are my diet digestion pills I don't really take this every day but I kind of have it just in case if I feel like I ate too much and I feel really bloated I take this and it's from Calibi it has a probiotic and just kind of overall helps you digest better. Also, I have a pill box. I also found out that I have anemia and so I'm supposed to take like zinc and more vitamins or something like that. I'm not really entirely sure. I need to do more research. But basically in here, I have my vitamin plus zinc pills, magnesium pills, melatonin, and it's hard for me to like fall asleep early. So I've been trying to also fix my sleep schedule by taking melatonin. But anyways, one of my New Year's resolutions is to take more health supplements and take care of my health. So I have this pill box that I take and I usually take it like after lunch So I have an alarm to remind me to take it. So this is a cute little Sanrio pill box Next I also have my wired earphones if I want to connect to my iPad while I'm working out Sometimes I like using these. I just feel like it's like a good emergency if I also forget my headphones I have something and I also sometimes carry around my airpods with me, but I didn't bring it today I forgot but those are some wired earphones one last thing I have is and here are some clips. So I actually love carrying clips with me because I hate like my baby hair and it kind of feels annoying when I'm doing work at a cafe. I have some random clips. It's pretty cute. This one's from a brand called Sinun. Some Kuromi ones. Some random colored ones from Urban Outfitters. I have a blue one, a white one. I have another kind of perfume pouch right here. But this one, it's just like a Dior pattern one. And inside, I have three little perfumes in total. So 
the first one I have, I got this pretty recently. It is from the Boutique and it is a solid perfume. It's so cute. It comes in this little pouch. It's actually so, so cute. And the perfume also, you can change it up and refill it once you use it all up. So this is basically how it looks like. And I fell in love with the package, so I just had to get it. This is a kind of rosy scent. And the scent is actually pretty strong once you even apply a little bit. Refillable, solid perfume. The next thing I have is also from the Teak. So this one, it is the hair essence. This is the Dawson one. And I love this one because it's really small. So instead of getting the big one, I thought why not get the smaller one because the scent and the strength and how long it lasts, it's pretty similar. And also the smaller one's just cuter. And I am obsessed with the scent. I don't know, but I, I don't, I'm so bad with describing scents, guys. My apologies, but basically TLDR, it smells really good and very worth and also lasts a very long time. And the final item I have in here is just like a super tiny one. This one is the Miss Dior perfume. Probably got this as a sample a long time ago. Those are the three perfumes I carry around with me. And also I have a cute little gloves because in Korea, it's been so cold, still pretty cold. I feel like the weather is slightly getting warmer, but without these gloves my hands become so 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 cold and it actually becomes so painful this one i got from cider and it's pretty cute and finally guys the last things that i want to show you are some of my camera gears that i carry around with me i received a few questions on like what i use to film so right now i'm using my canon m50 this one's more for like sit down videos because it's better at kind of focusing and also i have like a microphone attached so that the sound quality is better but for vlogging purposes first i have my GoPro. This one I recently got as well and I'm so obsessed with it. This one, it is the GoPro Hero 11 and I have a really cute pink case on it. The case I got from AliExpress and I have a bunch of keychains. These are all Sanrio ones and I also have one Xinjiang one, this Chokubi and cute little puffy Karomi. It is so compact and I love that the angle becomes very wide. And also inside I have my tripod. This one's from Ulanzi. I love this one as well it's very compact but it can go in different heights as well so very very convenient and also really stable and the pouch that i have is from sanrio as well i think i got this in the official sanrio shop that's in little tokyo in la i love this because it kind of fits my gopro perfectly like this so i have this so that my gopro doesn't get scratched cute little lace version next guys i have my vlogging camera this one it is the canon G7X Mark II and I also switched my case and now I have a pink case. I feel like you guys have seen a vlogging camera so many times. It's just a vlogging camera that everyone kind of has. Quality pretty good and I would definitely recommend. But these days I feel like I use my GoPro more and I also have been using my phone a lot to vlog or just film any kind of like videos. So these days when I'm out and about, I also use my phone a lot to capture some videos. And also I have another tripod this is also from Ulanzi so I used to use the Manfrotto tripod but I it was kind of annoying because I couldn't really adjust the height of it but this one is pretty compact but it goes in different levels as well and also really really stable when you put it down with the camera you can also adjust the top part and different angles and I, I wish I had gotten this sooner it's just like so much nicer and you are able to just like put the camera in better angles so I have this tripod as well Fine. Finally guys, this is the actual final item in here. This one I obviously carry around with me only when I have like a filming thing planned outside or when I am staying over because inside I have more filming slash charging related stuff. So this pouch is from GoPro that you get once you purchase your GoPro and I have a bunch of keychains here as well. Most of these I got from Japan. Some of these I got in Korea. I feel like very inconvenient because it's very loud and also it kind of makes the bag heavier overall. All, but like I said a while ago, I'm an overpacker and I just love these cute little things. If you don't know already, I am obsessed with Sanrio and cute little useless things. And inside, I just have, first of all, I have my selfie stick. This one is from Yoichi and it is pink. And also if you just want to take a like self-timer photo with your friends or something, perfect because it also has a Bluetooth remote. So I have that in here. Next, I just have a phone charger, a little hair clip. That's my Melody as well obsessed with pink and my melody this little cutie 
I am so obsessed with this. This is a mini toy camera that you can kind of film and gives you a retro effect. Okay, so once you turn it on, it actually works like a real camera and it is so cute, like actually so cute. Gives you a vintage vibe and also you can take pictures and videos. I got some questions on this on my Japan vlog on how I did like the retro effect and this is the camera that I used. It's from a brand called Hi Lala. But I know that there are different brands for this and actually so many available that you guys can choose from. Cheese! Finally, I have GoPro charger adapter for my GoPro SIM card, GoPro SD card. And also I have this little pouch that I keep like my extra SD cards in here. But right now I'm using all my SD cards so I have nothing inside here. And there's just like a little lid for my GoPro. So this is the last thing and I just keep everything inside here so that not everything is just like all over the place. I kind of like this case. It's very sturdy and not even that heavy and it fits a lot. Okay, so that is everything inside this a tote bag and I love it so much it fits so many things these are just few of the essentials that I keep inside my bag I love watching what's in my bag videos for some reason I remember at some point in my life I think I was like in high school or something I binge watched every single what's in my bag that there could ever exist so I just love seeing these and whenever there are new ones I love binge watching it so hope you guys like this as much as I do yes so that is all for today guys thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Sending you lots of love through the screen, virtual hugs, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! -bye.